and let the church say, Amen. 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 Our opening hymn will be found in your bulletins. It is entitled, guess what, y'all? Glory to His Name. Amen. Glory to His Name. Down at the cross.
expectation of our church covenant. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. Can we stand for the church covenant? Amen. I will re read the prompts. And if you have at home a New National Hymnal, follow along where, with us and read. Because my prompts um, are just a portion as the, the congregation reads the body of the church covenant. Amen? Amen. Amen. By what common and gracious experiences do we enter into spiritual fellowship and covenant relations with God and with one another? Having the faith we believe by the Spirit of God to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior for the confession of our faith, having been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, we do in the presence of God and angels and his disassembly, most solemnly and joyfully enter into the covenant with one another as one body in Christ. What is the great bond of our union with God and with one another? We need to nature for by the aid of the Holy Spirit to walk together in Christian love. What are our great privileges and duties in this, our own church? To strive for the advancement of this church in knowledge, holiness, and comfort, to promote prosperity and spirituality, to sustain its worship, ordinances, discipline, and doctrine. What vows do we gladly make as stewards of that which God has entrusted into us? To contribute cheerfully and regularly to support the ministry, the expenses of the church, the relief of the poor, and the spread of the gospel throughout all the nations. For the sake of our homes and our loved ones, what gracious task do we humbly assume? We also engage to maintain family and seek the blessings religiously and educate our children to seek the salvation of our kids and friends. For the sake of our unsaved, for whom our Savior died, to what manner of life and conversation are we solemnly and sincerely pledged? To love circumspectly in the world, to be just in our feelings, Faithful in our engagements and exemplary in our deployment, for to avoid all attack, backbiting, excessive anger, to abstain from the cell of the intoxicated spirit of the reverend, and to sell us in our efforts to advance the kingdom of our Savior. Since one is our master, even Christ, and all we are. Brothers and sisters, by what fraternal ministries are we to strengthen each other and adorn the teachings of our Lord and our Savior? We, we further engage to watch over one another in brotherly love, to remember each other in prayer, to aid each other in sickness and distress, to call on great Christian sympathy and feeling, and courtesy in speech, to be slow to take offense but always ready for reconciliation and mindful of the rules of our Savior to see it without delay. In an effort to carry out the spirit of this covenant and the principles of God's word, what pledge do we make? We moreover engage in that when we remove the religious place, we will as soon as possible unite with some other church where we can carry out the spirit of this covenant and the principles of God's words. The last portion we shall read together. Humbly confessing our past sins, we pray for grace and strength to keep these our holy vows for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You may now be seated. Somebody said these words were too and we're going to praise him right now. We're going to be favored with this dynamic duel, the choir. And they're going to come up now and render a selection or two. 
Amen. And we are invited to join in to lift up the name of the Lord. Okay? Come on, y'all. God is worthy of all my praise. Amen. We should always have to be encouraged to praise Him. It should be automatic. Amen. But it is good to encourage. That's right. Amen. Come on, choir. Let's praise Him. Amen. God has smiled on me. He has set me Thank you, 
Reverend Payne. Amen. Good morning, Reverend Hall. Good morning, Reverend Hill. Hill? Hill. The honor. Good morning, Saint. Good, Good morning. morning. To God be the glory. Amen. We praise and thank him for being who he is. Amen. 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 At this time, I would like to welcome our visitors. If you are in the congregation and would like to stand, we would like to welcome you.
Amen. And we're going to be lifting up our tithes and offerings at this particular time. Amen. 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 And we'll take control. Amen. Amen. This is the time to be joyful. Yeah, Amen. absolutely. The very fact that God has blessed us to be a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Don't you feel bad when you don't have anything to give? Yeah. Huh? Amen. And that you do, then it's a blessing. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That means don't give up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
don't give up things like God is a long time God. Yes, he yes, is. Huh? The yes, strong he is. Yes, it may not come yeah. when we come think. On. Come on now. Yeah. But he's always oh, right on time. Hallelujah. So we need to learn yes. to wait on the Lord. Yes. yes. Even when we call on his name. Yes. yes. Amen. 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 I know one thing for certain. God is a prayer answering God. Yes, yes he, he is. is. Amen. Yeah. Amen. God has answered my prayers sometimes so profoundly that it's Come just on now, say that. Be away. Yeah. Right. Our God is very real. Yes, He is. Huh? Yeah. And yeah. you need to know for yourself. Yeah. yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Is there somebody in that? Let us keep our pastor in prayer. Yes. yes. Let us keep Brother Noah in prayer. Yes. Our government yes. in yes. prayer. Amen. Reverend you know, yes, ma'am. Oh. Go ahead. You. I'd like prayer for my granddaughter, Giselle Johnson, mm -hmm. and all the young kids going to school now so that they could have some type of guidance. Yeah. I'd like prayer for those who are sick and shut in. I'd love prayer for myself, my church family, pastor's family, you and your family, and the visiting pastor and his Amen. family. Amen. Amen. Second Baptist Church. Tabernacle and all churches open in the name of Jesus. I'd like to um, pray for um, my family, my church family, and um, a special prayer for my um, that God and Mother Nature has been kind to the homeless, oh. weather wise. Yeah. And um, just as you said, Pastor, don't give up. Don't give up on God. Yeah, man. Amen. Amen. Reverend, for those that are suffering. Yeah, that's an issue. Yes, yeah, that's an issue. Yeah. It is. Yes. 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 I'd like to ask prayer for Sister Tina, Tina. Mm -hmm. Sister Monica, Brother Floyd, all those who are sick, all those who have mental illnesses, all those who are incarcerated, and those who have drug problems. Yeah. Our young people and the guns that need to be put down. Amen. 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 Rab, I also like to uh, pray for this this homosexual agenda they're pushing on our children. Now, children, yeah. 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 their yeah. minds ain't yeah. to the point where they can make a decision like yeah. that for herself. Yeah. Uh, to each their own. God loves yes. everybody, but for us to be pushing it in the movies, not us, but the people, the powers that be, yeah. are pushing it yeah. in the movies. It's in the books. It's 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 amazing. Yeah. All this. Crap is in these books for these kids. We're the yeah. 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 you know. And I like to pray for anybody that, you know, is, is a pedophile, you know, have God touch their hearts and, and get that evilness out yeah. of them. You know, yeah. that's yeah. another thing. They're, 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 they got a little group where they're protecting each other yeah. from yeah. touching kids. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. My Lord. Yeah. So I just like to pray on that. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, I like prayer for all the scams.
knowing that Father God that you are omniscient, that right. you know everything. Yeah. Even our secret thoughts, God. Yeah. Your word has said that you know our thoughts before they even come into us. Yeah. Therefore, you know the results of our thinking and what we do. Our true intentions, God. Yeah. Because you are the light. You are not only omniscient, you are omnipotent. You have all power in your hands. Yeah. For I heard Jesus said when he got up out of the grave, all power, all power. and heaven and earth is in the, of my hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great God Almighty, now glory, and then you're everywhere at the same time. You're omnipresent. God, we don't need to tell you to go anywhere, because you're already there. Yeah. But we pray that you will make your presence known if you will, and that the healing will begin. Father, we lift up all whose names, God, you heard. Yeah. This has been lifted up in this sanctuary, God. Also. In my finite mind and thinking, I'm not able, God, to recall everything. Yes. But I do lift up sister, little sister Giselle. Yes, Pray, Father, that you will look into that situation, Father. You already know the cause and the outcome. Yeah. But we we're praying, God, that you would take control, Lord, take control. and give them that guidance and comfort, God, that she might, Lord, recover, Lord, and be blessed of you, God. Yeah. That you would bring her back home, God, that she might understand that you alone is the true God. And it is you that keeps her God from hurt, harm, and danger. Yes, sir. Oh, Father God, we lift up, we lift up, we lift up, we lift up. Heavenly Father, my wife Peggy, Lord, who has trouble with her eyes, her sight is, is decreasing, God. And, but, Lord, you know what is best. And you said that you would do things according to your will. Help us to wait upon you. I lift her up, nevertheless, for you have said that we ought to always pray yeah. and not faint. Yeah. Father, we lift up Brother Norton up. Uh, Brother Troy, Heavenly Father, we pray, God, that you would cause him to recover from whatever it is that plagues him, Father. Yes. We haven't seen him for a while, but you know all about it. We lift him up in the mighty name of God. Jesus. Yeah. Father, we pray that you would intervene in this world where there are issues of homosexuality. Father, that is being espoused upon the young. And Father, those who are unprepared, Father, for the knowledge that is being promoted, Lord, and encouraging others to do things contrary to your will. Thank you, Lord. Oh God, you already know, Lord, that Satan is on a rampage. Yeah. And we pray, God, that you would keep us inside of your will. Yeah. Lord, that your spirit might enable us to overcome the world, and that you might be able to use us to give glory to your name. Yeah. We pray for our government, Father. We lift up our president, President Joe Biden. Yeah. And Vice President Kamala Harris, we pray yeah. that you would give the wisdom, the knowledge, the mindset, the understanding to yeah. make right decisions, God, that will serve the best interest of this nation and the world itself. Yeah. Oh, God, continue to bless this nation, and though, even though we have sinned against you, God, we pray for forgiveness, mercy, yeah. and restoration. Yeah. Yeah. And now, Father God, we pray for a fresh anointing on this preacher that you have sent by to break the word of life. Yes. Yeah. We pray that you would bless him, God, that he might be able to preach and teach your word without error. Yeah. Take control, Father God, and use him to do your bidding. Yeah. Open our hearts and minds, God, and our understanding to receive your word. Understand your word. And walk therein. Yes, sir. Yes. That Father, we have to stand before you in the end of our days. Yeah. God, we might hear you be able to say to us, You've been faithful over a few things. Yeah. 
Come on up higher and make you a ruler over many. Yeah. Keep us in your will, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask and we pray. And let the church say amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. You may take your seats. Amen. Our scripture for this day will be rendered by none other than our very own Reverend Jibita Hall. Amen. The Holy Scriptures that we will be reading is taken from the New Testament. Um, one scripture in the book of Luke and, and a few in the book of Matthew. When you arrive at Luke chapter 11, verse 1, give me a clear amen. Amen. Luke chapter 11. Amen. If we could stand for the reading of this holy word. Amen. 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 And it reads in that very first scripture. Amen. Now it came to pass as, as he was praying in a certain place when he ceased prayer, when he ceased that one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples. Let us turn to Matthew chapter 6. And let me read for your hearing verses 9 through 13. When you're there, please give me another clear amen. 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 In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forget, forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 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 And amen. You may now be seated. Amen. At this time, we're going to ask the choir to come again. The song of praise. Amen. After which, we're going to ask Ms. Sister Hill who will introduce to us the preacher of the hour. Amen. 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 <laughs> and after such introduction, the next portion we will hear is that of the preacher of the hour. Amen. 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 Sing, choir, sing. Amen. Huh. Oh, it is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus.
make sure that they know that God put God first in their lives. And so when you put God first in your life, he blesses, he blesses you all day, all Amen. day, all night long. And he does that so that you can be a blessing to someone Amen. else. Amen. And Pastor Hill has always, in his, the type of person that he is, he's always helping someone do something. Amen. Amen. And whether it's in whether it's in the church, whether it's in somebody's home, whether it's a, out in the neighborhood, he's always willing to lend a helping hand, and he always carries us. Most of the time, he carries a smile on his face whenever he's in he's in public. And so uh, he he has studied the Word of God for many 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 years. And uh, like I say, he he loves he loves the Lord. And one of the things he always, he always when he's preaching somewhere, he, uh, he lets people know that I'm the better half. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is that two halves make a whole. Mm -hmm. Where he's where he's strong and I'm weak, I pull off of his strength. Where I'm strong and he's weak, he pulls off of my strength. And that's what keeps us going in our in our marriage and. Uh, and then also we are married. We are married to the Lord. Yeah. And um, so he also he's been a pastor. He's been a Sunday school teacher. He's been a Sunday school superintendent. He goes to Bible study. He's he just joined the missionary at Second Baptist Church in Homestead. So now he's a he working. He's a missionary, and Amen. he's just always looking for something to Amen. do for Amen. the Lord. You know, and be on some program. So it was a, it was a, he felt it an honor that uh, Reverend um, Zachary had asked him to come, come preach here. We were just here for um, Good Friday service evening, and uh, we had a joyous time. So I'm pretty sure we will have a joyous, joyous time in the Lord this this afternoon as Reverend William Hill presents the word of God Amen. to you. Amen. And we thank you for the invitation. Amen. Amen. This is the day yes, sir. that the Lord has made. Yeah. Well, Let us rejoice yeah. and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. Everything God does is right. Yes, Everything God does is good. Yes. Amen. Uh, Come on, <laughs> I just want to thank God for allowing me to be here. Amen. I thank you, Pastor, uh, in his absence for allowing me to stand in his stead this day. I thank this church for receiving me. Yeah. Amen. 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 It's, 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 uh, yes, dear. I forgot something. Go ahead, dear. Mom, if you notice that I'm sitting over there, minding my own business, and that's where I wanted to sit. But my big sister here, Sister Gwendolyn Weir, <laughs> had me come and sit with her. And you guess what? If you know her, you do not tell her enough. She's my big sister, and I just thank God, thank God for her. You see me move from over there, it was because I was asked to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I did what I was told. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking this word does have a, uh, yes, a strong is. presence, amen. Yes. amen. Uh, we love her. Uh, and, and we, we got acquainted uh, some years ago yes. through the ABBA. Yes. Amen. And 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 you, it's hard to tell. Digging this word, no, right? Yes. You know, some people do, but it's hard to yes. tell her to tell her no. But I just, I, I just thank God for being here. Yeah. Amen. 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 And I'm, with no further ado, I'm just going, I'm, I'm going to come on with it. Amen. 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 Uh, you, heard, you, you heard the text being read. Yeah. Luke 11, 1, and Matthew 6, 9 through 13. Yeah. Um, uh, just for a title. You know, preacher got to have a title. Amen. Yes. Teach us. Yes, yes, yes. Teach us. Yes. Eternal Almighty God, we come before you just now thanking you and praising you. We thank you, Father God, for this another opportunity 
I ask that you would hide me safely behind your cross. Yes. That only you would be seen, felt, and heard. Yes. We ask this now in the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart, the acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Yes. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Now I know that's a double. Because I know Jesus is my strength. Jesus yes. is. Yes, he is. My all in all. Yes. And then I said, in his name I do pray. Yeah. And, 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 and I always end up prayer, no matter what it is. Yeah. Come on now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And that's Amen. because there's so much power Amen. in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. If, 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 if this sends Satan to flee, yeah. it's some power in that name. Yeah. Come on now. Amen. On. When you pray in the name of Jesus, something. Reverend Payne, just like he said, he will answer your prayer. And sometimes he answers that prayer right now. Yeah. Yeah. What am I trying to say? Sometimes we got to wait on the Lord. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Sometimes we just have to wait on him to get some renewed strength. Amen. Right. Right. But sometimes when we need it, yeah. he's right there. Get you when you come. Yeah. 
ready to give by way of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So many, yeah, 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 so many times Amen. we plan to give. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, but, but, but what about when the Holy Spirit tells you to give? Or the Holy Spirit tells you to do something for somebody? Yeah. Uh-huh. Don't disregard the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's our that's our that's our leader. Amen. That's our God. And we should know what, why we are giving and whatever it is giving for, what it may be used for and what purpose it's used for. You know? Amen. You know, it, I mean, it's, it's all right to give somebody walking on the street. My question is, what do you need it for? Huh? Ain't nothing wrong with asking. Because if it's drugs, I ain't giving it to you. Come on, come on. Yeah. I, I'll, take you, I'll take you down to the restaurant and buy you a meal. Amen. But I'm not going to give you nothing to support your habit. Amen. To tear you down. All right. Now, I hope you all know that God, he loves a cheerful giver. That's right. <laughs> that he loves the one that does not look for anything in return. That brings us to Matthew, that, that that alms may be in secret, and thy father which is in secret shall reward thee openly. Now we do know there's a difference between a loan and a gift. Yes, that's right. A loan you should be willing to repay. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. And a gift, if you take me to court, the judge is going to tell you you ain't getting it back. Yes, right. <laughs> if it's a gift, you give it to me. Yes. Question is, teach us how to pray. Amen. Then when Jesus went to teach them how to pray, this is church, I believe that Jesus had a problem with hypocrisy. Yeah. He had a problem with a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. He said, when thou prayest, thou should not be as a hypocrite are. For they love to stand. Yeah. In the synagogue yeah. and in the corners of the tree, streets to be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Now there is nothing wrong with public prayer, but it should come from the heart. And at the end, at the end of the verse again, Jesus made a statement, they already have their reward. When you when you want your reward, when do you want your reward? Do you want your reward for man? Or do you want your reward for God? I don't know about you. But I'm looking to walk down that street's pain we go. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I'm, looking, I'm looking to hear God say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. See, you ain't got to be faithful over everything. He said over a few things. And then he said, come on out. Yeah. The rich young ruler missed out. After doing all that he should have, Jesus said, sell all you have and give it to the poor and follow me. Now I know this is, is debatable. I believe that one should never turn down an opportunity to pray. But my opinion is now I'm going to get you a cup of coffee. And our motive for praying, there shouldn't be one. Let me explain. <laughs> let me explain, let me explain. <laughs> there should be no ulterior motive in your prayer. Amen. Okay. Huh? Amen. Your, 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 your prayer should be direct, mm -hmm. and it should be about something that is meaningful and that is helpful to stay in the will of God. Jesus said that we need to go into our closet, shut the door, pray to the Father in secret. Nobody there but you and God, and God who sees you in secret will reward you openly. The point is that the people of God who have accepted Jesus Christ as our personal Savior should not have a, a show out of prayer just to be seen. Peter had one of the 
sure this prayer and got a great response in the blink of an eye. And it was right then when he was sinking in the water. He said, save me. And Jesus lifted him from the stormy sea. Yeah. I, I, I come by to tell you, sometimes a short prayer is all you need. Right. Sometimes all you have to do is ask the Lord to help you. Yeah. All you have to do is ask him, Lord, I need a touch from you. Lord, I need a word from you. Lord, I just, I just want you to come by and I want you to touch my sister or touch uh, my brother. I want you, Father God, to get somebody in you. And that, that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we pray, it should not be without reason. Yeah. And we should be direct, directed by the Holy Spirit. Jesus says, not by vain repetition as, as the ungodly. Uh, that brings me to a point, and we, and we think about 1 Kings uh, chapter 18, and it talks about the battle of Hong Kong. Elijah, one person went up against uh, 150 prophets of Baal yeah. and 300 prophets of the grove. That sounds like 450 to me, y'all. Yeah. Uh, the point is, their prayer were not to our God, who sits high, looks low, who is real. Uh, the prophets of Baal and the prophets of the grove were praying to objects. I come by to tell you, my God is not an object. Uh, my God is real. Uh, how do I even know? I can feel it uh, in my soul. Uh, I can feel it in my feet. Sometimes, sometimes I just have to lay my hands, y'all, uh, because I can feel God all over me. Yeah. 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 Amen. Listen, listen. Uh, and, and, come on. They pray. Mm. He said, he said, he said, we're going to have a sacrifice, y'all. Yeah. Uh, he, he said, he said we're going to have a sacrifice. Uh, and, but we're not going to put any fire up under the sacrifice. Yeah. He said, what we're going to do is we're going to put some wood up under it. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to pray. Mm -hmm. And if your God can consume it and fire it, yeah. then Israel can follow you. But if I pray, yeah. And it's consumed by fire. Yeah. Then, then, then he said, follow yeah. me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now here we have Elijah. Uh, after the, after the, after the, the prophets of, of Baal, right. the prophets of the grove, uh, they got together and they start praying. And, and, and what nothing happened. Like, come on now. What nothing happened at all. They was trying to pray. They was, they was calling for morning. I said, no, and then Elijah said, it's my turn. Right. Y'all ain't all been messing around, fooling around, long enough. Uh, and he said, and here we have Elijah building an altar with 12 stones, one for each tribe of the sons of Jacob. And he dug a trench all around it. He two measures of seed, wood. Uh, the, 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 he repaired the bullock, cut it in pieces. Fill four barrels of water three times equals twelve barrels of water, and he and, and he made sure that the trench was filled with water. Also, Elijah went to God in sincere prayer. I know by tell you, your prayer needs to be sincere. You need to be real about what you're saying to God. You can, oh man, I come by to tell you uh, this afternoon, uh, Elijah. With nobody but him and God having in mind that God is able to do whatever he wants to do. My God is able to heal. Uh, my God is able to uh, heal the sick. He's able to restore the blind. He's able to hear, heal the deaf. He's able to repair a broken relationship. He's able to make a way out of no way. So Elijah went to God in a sincere prayer. And everything was consumed. The, st the stone, the water, the wood, the bullocks. And it, it, it took. And it, took, it didn't take all day for Elijah to get his prayer across. Listen, Jesus is letting his disciples know that God already knows what we are in need of. So all we do have to make, 
We don't have to make a grand display or a long and drag out prayer because Jesus is saying, my Father already knows. Just be real and sincere when we go to God in prayer. And Jesus said after this matter, therefore pray ye. This is what, what this is the way we should pray. There's a way that Jesus taught them how to pray. That was good for his disciples yesterday. Yeah. And good for his disciples, us, today. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, this is the way that we as children of God should come to him in reverence, in, in love, boldness, but not in spirit and in truth, with sincereness of heart, speaking to him, speaking to the creator of heaven and earth, coming to God in awe of his holiness, our Father, and how be thy name, is going straight to the source that we should respect and adore, setting apart because God is holy. Yeah. We sometimes go to everybody but God. Mm -hmm. huh? We will ask a, a friend or a cousin, amen, right. and a, a friend or a cousin can't do what God can do. I come by to tell you, we need to see God's face first. Every king that didn't seek God's face first, they, what they was planning didn't turn out right. right. You have to be able to seek God yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah. It, it goes back to seeking, seeking the kingdom of heaven yeah. first. Yeah. Everything else will follow. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. uh, I serve good God, y'all. Yeah. Thy kingdom come. That will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. This is an expression of looking forward to a, to a, a society on earth where the will of God is, a, is as perfect as it is in heaven. For us to show our submission to the will of God, to the power and the authority yielding to his lordship in our lives. That kingdom come. This is a prayer that is praying for the kingdom of God to come hoping and praying for the fullness of God to come, that the disciples who want their who want their will to line up with God's will. Yes. See, we have to seek the will of God yes. that it would line up with our will. Amen. We, we, we need our will to line up with His will. Yes. Amen. 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 Say that. I don't want you to miss it. Because when we pray, mm -hmm. if God is in us, and we in him, yeah. then we can ask what we will. Yeah. Don't think you can do anything and say anything and go anywhere or go everywhere and think that you're in the will of God. Yeah, that's right. You have to be in him. He has to be in you. Amen. Then you can ask. Yeah. 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 Oh, then he said, give us, give us this day. Our daily bread. This verse is like a child looking to his father. This is his or her daily needs, asking that the caring father was concerned for our needs, whatever they may be. Yes. Now, now, now I, I, I do not like the terminology, but I, but I can tell you that God has always met. My needs. Amen. 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 He, 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 he didn't give me everything I wanted. Your needs. But he met my needs. Amen. When I was weak, he gave me some strength. Yeah. Come on. When I was down and out, he lived in me. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> oh, oh, don't miss it, don't miss it. I'm talking about he lived in me. Amen. 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 Yes. When I was lost, he showed me the way. Amen. Amen. Uh, I serve the true God. I serve a loving God. I serve a caring God. When I didn't have a friend, when I was friendless, he befriended me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My daily, my daily, my daily bread. And forgive us us our debts as we forgive our debts. Uh, a verse 12, coming to God in an attitude of forgiveness and a request 
setting aside our sins. Amen. See, as God set aside our sins, yeah. we need to set aside the sins of those who may that may have been committed against us. That's right. Amen. Amen. When somebody come and say, I need for you to forgive, you need to say, I already forgave you. I already bought God. Yeah. It's already done. Yeah, yeah. The forgiveness is already there. Because that's the way my God operates. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. Huh? When I say, Father God, I know I shouldn't have said that. I know I shouldn't have did that. You already forgiven, Reverend Hill. Don't worry about it. Why would you come to me? So you have to come to him, let him know, acknowledge the fact that you know what you did and you're asking for forgiveness. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have to think about the fact that Jesus said, and it says as we state it in the, in, in the prayer. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Forgive me. That's right. As I forgive those that's right. that I have trespassed against. Right. And then the lead is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For mine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This is asking God for a permanent hedge of protection from the evil forces of Satan.
somebody spoke for the group as his, as, as, as his words come down through the channels of time. Teach us uh, how to pray. And then uh, I can also hear somebody say, teach us how to love each other. Teach us how to build each other up. Teach us how to give each other. Teach us how to say I'm sorry. Teach us how to be real and sincere. Teach us how to, to, to let us say, let your will be done, my Lord. We have to allow and we have to understand that we need to be taught to say, let your will be done, God. As Jesus prayed in the garden on the way to the cross, I want you to understand that in this text, uh, Jesus was on his way to the cross and Jesus was still teaching his disciples uh, and he's still teaching us today. He's trying to allow us to know uh, that we have to let God's will be done. And we know what happened as they stood him from judgment hall to judgment hall. And he went to Calvary where they hung him high and stretched him wide. And there he died, laid him in a, a ball tomb for three days and got up on the third day more than every pain. He got up with all power in heaven and in earth right now. Uh, what I come to do is offer Jesus to you. There may be somebody here uh, this afternoon that does not know Jesus for the free pardon of the sins. Uh, we have to we have to, we have to also come to Jesus. We have to die to our sins. Yeah. We have to allow him to lift us up. Uh, yeah. We have to allow the Spirit of God to come in to us. We have to allow the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us yeah. to the prominence of the Lord. I, I, I come right and tell you, he's being leading and he's guiding right now. Yeah. If you don't know who Jesus is, you need know him for yourself. Yeah, yeah. You need to tell somebody about how good uh, your Savior is. Yeah. You have to tell somebody about what he's done for you and what he's done for others. He'll do it for them also. You have to allow them to know that they have a Savior that who suffered and died on Calvary's cross, yeah. not for some of their sins, but for all of their sins. Yeah. Their past sins, their present sins,
Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Let us prepare ourselves for Amen. our communion over. Amen. Amen. Yes, I Amen. We're going to ask those of you who are sitting on the altar if y'all can move to the center. Amen. Amen. It would be a lot of you to serve the Lord if you are all sitting in the center aisles right here. If you are able. Amen. 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 I can move them. Well, I know it was a blood. I know it was a blood. I know it was a blood on me. Well.
chapter of the book of Exodus, God instituted what is called the Passover for his people. Yeah. Which commemorated their deliverance from bondage of Egypt into Egypt. Yeah. And he told them to make it a memorial for all time, forever. Yeah. And he told them that they needed to take a lamb and to sacrifice that lamb, one that was without blemish. Yeah. This lamb represented Jesus. Yeah. Yes. And he said to them to take the blood and put it on the side of the doorpost. Yeah. And at the top of the doorpost. And when I look at that picture, I find the cross in that. For when Jesus was hanging out on Calvary's hill, his hands were nailed to the right. Yeah. And it was nailed to the left. Yeah. And there was a crown of thorns on his head, mm -hmm. of which came blood. Yeah. Amen. In the New Testament, Paul says, we hear John the Baptist first of all saying when Jesus came to be baptized, mm -hmm. he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. Yeah. Yes. For Jesus is the fulfillment of all of the Old Testament sacrifices. Yes. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> and now uh, Paul comes along and says, uh, Well, I'm delivered unto you that which was also delivered unto me. Mm -hmm. That the Lord Jesus, the same night, same. Uh -huh. the same night same. Yeah. in which he was betrayed, uh -huh. he took the bread, y'all. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and he blessed it. Yes, he did. He said, this is my body, yeah. which is broken for you. Yeah. Jesus' body was broken when he took a sword and stuck it in his side. Yeah. Pain for you and my sins. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Bible says out came blood and water. He said, this is my body. He said, take ye and eat all of it yes. as often as you do it in remembrance mm -hmm. yeah. of me. Yes. Yeah. Y'all, this is a memorial service. Yeah. Yes. And let us consume the body of Christ together. Amen. Amen. And in the same manner, likewise, the Bible says that he took the cup of wine. Yeah. Right. And he said to them, uh, this represents my blood that is going to be shed for you on Calvary's cross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, take you and drink all of it. For as often as you eat this bread and drink of this cup, ye do show my death until I come. Let us consume his blood. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says that after which they went out and they sang hymns. Oh, yeah. the blood. Mm -hmm. All the blood, all the blood done sound by me. All the blood, all the blood, all the blood done sound by me. All the blood, all the blood, all the blood done sound by me. Everybody's on the camera.